Welcome to Stampin' Peace. I'm Mary Nabe. Today I want to show you how I made this sympathy card. And I'm also going to focus on giving you an extra tip that I used in making this part of the card using the Ornate Tag Topper Punch, which is currently on sale. But before we get to that, I will talk just a moment about the products I used on this card. I started with the Farmer's Market Designer Series paper. Here's a sample of some of the patterns. You can see there's some wonderful colors in there, Old Olives, Blackberry Bliss, Cherry Cobbler, etc. But I chose to work with this neutral wood grain background paper. In addition, I'm using basic black, soft suede, and crumb cake cardstock, along with the black satin ribbon. I've used two stamp sets on this card, the image on the front and on the inside are stamps from the Heartfelt Sympathy stamp set and the tree is stamped from Serene Silhouettes. All of these products are in our 2015-2016 annual catalog so they will be around through the end of May. Now let me get, let's get started on showing you how I made my card. I first adhered my background paper to the basic black cardstock. I'm going to set that aside for just a moment and now I'm going to work with crumb cake cardstock and my ornate tag topper punch. The ornate tag topper punch is on sale this week as a weekly deal, so if you don't have it, now is a great time to grab it at a great price. Our punches do fold flat and lock for easy storage. I'm going to unlock that. My cardstock measures two inches because that's the width that will fit in the tag topper punch and it's four and a half inches in length. I chose that length because it's a good length for me to work with with this particular stamp. I'm going to punch one end, then turn it, you can see the tag, even the tag shape, and then I'm going to punch the opposite end and set my punch aside. And this is what I have. That's the piece I want to stamp on. Today I'm using the Stampin' Up! Black, Basic Black Archival Ink. This ink is fairly new. It was debuted in the 2015 Holiday Catalog. But we are continuing to sell it. And it, it is in the Occasions Catalog and will be in our 2016-2017 Annual Catalog. One thing I want to note is that the Heartfelt Sympathy stamp set is a photopolymer set, meaning you can see all the way through that stamp. When using photopolymer stamps, you will get a cleaner, crisper image if you stamp on top of our pierce mat. This pierce mat, I actually have two. One I use for piercing holes only. The second one I use for stamping with photopolymer sets only. You don't want to use one for both purposes. But it's five dollars, it's a great investment, and sure makes stamping easier. Okay, now I'm ready to put this on the front of my card. I've cut a piece of ribbon just a little bit longer than that card front. So it's approximately six inches. I'm going to work from the back, pulling one end of the ribbon through the hole on the right side of the tag, 
and the other ribbon through the hole on the left side of the tag. Again, starting from the back. Obviously, we wouldn't want to cover up our pretty stamped image on the front. Now, before I adhere these ribbon ends to the back, I want to make sure that this is not going to be moving around when I put it in the envelope or it goes through the mail. So I need to put some adhesive behind it. And I've decided that I'm going to pop it up with some dimensionals. Dimensionals are simply that. They add dimension to your card by lifting the piece off the paper just a wee little bit. They're adhesive on both sides, so you just pull those off. This one I'm going to center on my card front. Press down those dimensionals gently. Then I'm going to flip that over. I like to just put a tiny piece of adhesive. I'm using the Stampin' Up! Snail where I'm going to adhere those ribbon ends. So I pull the first one around, and then I turn to the other side, and I'm going to pull that left one around. Whoops. And press it down. Then I'm going to add a little bit of snail in each corner so that I can adhere this to my card front, which I've already prepared. The card front is a nice, soft suede. So there you have it. Again, feel free to decorate your envelope. It lets the recipients of your card know that something extra special is in this envelope. I also want to suggest that when you stamp, you stamp a few or make a few cards. That way, you'll have a little stash built up so when you need a card quickly, you can go right to your stash and find something beautiful that you've made. In addition, I'm going to suggest that you also give credit to yourself when you are stamping and creating your own handmade cards. I don't know how well you can see this, but I have purchased in the past a hand stamped, um, a stamp personalized stamp, excuse me, uh, with my name on it. If you do not have a personalized stamp, simply write your name or your initials, perhaps the year or the date, just a wee little something to let people know you made this especially for them and it's a gift of the heart. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little tip I showed you on how you can get more use from your ornate tag topper punch by punching both ends and stringing ribbon through. Thank you. I hope you have a peaceful and joyful day.